to kick off the Halloween season here on this channel, I'll be talking about the Halloween episode of The Proud Family. A Hero for Halloween, episode 2 from season 2. Growing up, I didn't understand stereotypes because, you know, I was a child, so most of the stereotypes were just flying over my head. Most of the subliminal programming that I was watching were not actually doing much, at least to my consciousness. Maybe they were doing something subconsciously, but uh, for the most part, I was missing all of them. I was just watching to watch what these characters that I like were doing. And of course there were characters that you deemed as negative and positive. Characters that you could side with and then characters that you're just like, oh no, I don't like them. Oh. The Halloween episode of Proud Family is pretty standard. It's Penny rebelling, saying that she doesn't want to celebrate Halloween because Halloween is for kids. Nah, I'm not feeling it. Besides, Halloween is for kids. When I turned an adult, that was like, it was, that was it for me. I'm like, yeah, I got to start doing Halloween because when I was growing up, we did not celebrate Halloween. And now that I'm an adult and I'm free to do what I want to, I would dress up every day if I could. Wizard Kelly is putting on a Halloween Frightacular for the tweens, y'all. And Romeo is going to be there. Back when this episode premiered, that Romeo cameo... Can you say that twice? Romeo cameo. That Romeo cameo was a big deal. And left to the right, right to the left, left to the right, right to the left. But Penny doesn't want to go. So she decides to stay home. And her dad feels like if she's going to stay home, then she's going to do what he asked her to do. And he wants her to hand out proud snacks. And everybody know proud snacks are nasty. The man who sold Oscar the house 10 years ago came back to warn him that there was a ghost who came and told him that he needed to leave because he comes every 10 years and he doesn't want anyone living in the house. And this guy came to warn Oscar, but of course in Oscar fashion, he doesn't care and he doesn't listen. So he's just like, this is all stupidness and I don't want anything to do with it. So he closed the door on the man. While Oscar is handing out proud snacks, this man comes there in full black and insults Oscar. And Oscar slams the door in his face. This man floats through the door and into their house. And Oscar assumes that he is a magician. I've seen plenty of magicians, but I've never seen any float through a door and take off their own head and juggle with it. But that convinced Oscar that th that was a magician and he was okay with that. But Trudy comes in and tells Penny that she should go to the Frightacular because she doesn't see the reason why she should be sitting around at home and handing out proud snacks. She should go out and have fun with her friends. You know, Penny, now that the magician's here, we have everything under control. If you want to go hang out with your friends, it's okay. Penny shows up to the Frightacular to buy a ticket, but they're all sold out and the Gross sisters are around harassing people. So of course, they arrest Penny and sprayed her with silly strings. So while Penny is moping around town trying to walk back home. She decided to eat a proud snack. And these snacks were possessed or I don't know. They gave her superpowers and she turned into Snack Girl. And Snack Girl went around saving and doing a whole bunch of heroics like saving a child from a meteorite. And then she saw that the Gross sisters just jacked everyone's candy at the Frightacular and she came to help and return all the candy after she done dust the heck out of the Gross sisters and uh, Wizard Kelly gave her a ticket to stay but it's too cheap to allow her to get a backstage pass with Romeo but Romeo decided that he'll invite her to perform with him on stage. So they're all bouncing, bouncing, hopping when Penny hears her family screaming. So Penny flies home and see that there's just an empty lot in the ground and her home is gone. She looks up and she sees it floating off into the sky. So it turns out that the guy who was juggling his own head and floating into their house was actually a ghost and uh, Penny who's now 
Snack Girl or Super Girl, whatever they're trying to play it off as. So Snack Girl comes in and uh, beat him up and throw him off into oblivion. I guess her snacks wore off and her house falls back right into the place that it belongs. And she's trying to tell her family that she's the snack girl, she's the super girl, or she's the hero that saved them. And they don't believe her because she no longer has the proof of wearing whatever she was wearing. Did you see that superhero fly that ghost out of the house? Daddy, that was me. Uh-oh. My daddy's brain cells are starting to kick in. No, Sugar Mama, it really was me. Just your typical Disney Halloween episode for a cartoon. Like Pepper Ann had a similar episode, except she didn't become a superhero. Now in a show where a girl can eat a snack and it turns her into a superhero and she fights a supernatural being, it's easy to say, well, this show isn't supposed to be taken serious. So even if they're stereotyping people or they're putting out negative information about a group of people, that maybe people aren't actually absorbing that information and it's not going to be used in a negative way. But we've all been on TikTok and we've all seen the way how a lot of people act towards certain groups of people. So maybe it does work. And I do understand the argument that there are people who live in reality who falls into the stereotypes of their racial, ethnic, or religious groups. Do they not deserve to see themselves being represented on screen as well? I don't know the answer to that, but I can see where people are coming from when they say that the Proud Family does not deserve to be reboot or get a spin-off because it was not an actually positive show for black people or other people of color. The show leans heavily on negative stereotypes about dark-skinned women with characters like Sugar Mama and Dijonay being loud and hypersexualized while also having the gross sisters being defeminized and hashy and also always trying to steal something. And the negative stereotype extends beyond dark-skinned black women with Oscar being seen as cheap and also always failing in his business. Not to mention Wizard Kelly is just always trying to hustle someone out of money or something. And La Cienega Boulevardes is depicted as a Latina with an attitude problem. It becomes a bigger problem when you realize that these characters are not actually characters. They're just stereotypes being given lines. The creator of The Proud Family and most of the cast are Black. And you'd think that they would minimize the amount of stereotypes that they throw in or negative stereotypes that they throw in about people of color. But that didn't make a difference. When we say we need more people of color in production teams and writing rooms, we hope that these people of color will break the mold of these tired racial tropes that these companies seem to always try to put out. We want people who are not going to give us the same tired stereotypes over and over to bash or put down people. We need diversity in not only the staff, but also the ideas that people are bringing to the table. So when we have a show like The Proud Family that's majority people of color on the staff, it doesn't help that they're bringing the same thing that they saw when they were growing up the same negative stereotypes they're regurgitating. From what I can see of the reboot, it seems like they're going in a different direction. And I think that's for the best because the audience have shifted and uh, we don't want the younger kids growing up with these kind of stereotypes being beamed and programmed into their mind. So it's best if they're changed. And I don't think that the landscape of television would allow for something like that to be in a cartoon for kids at this moment without there being an uproar. So 
yeah i'm pretty sure they're not gonna bring us the same garbage but i could be wrong i'm just hoping that they don't thanks for watching this video if you like this video go ahead and hit the thumbs up button if you didn't like it hit that thumbs down button if you'd like to see more content from me go ahead and hit the subscribe button thank you i hope you have a fantastic day night or whatever